including Austria, seem to be disappointed that there hasn't been more clear language condemning the Russian aggression. Also, Pakistan uh, condemning the Russian aggression at the UN General Assembly. Uh, please help me understand, why is it so hard for Pakistan to find like a clearer voice here, especially given the fact that territorial integrity is an important issue for Pakistan and giving the, uh, given the aspect that Pakistan and Ukraine have important economic ties? Thank you. <coughs> You've uh, correctly pointed out that Pakistan and Ukraine have good bilateral relations and good ties. We feel for them and we care for them. And we are concerned about the evolving situation and we are more continuously evaluating and monitoring the situation. Looking at the humanitarian situation in Ukraine, uh, I myself uh, went to see off uh, you know, humanitarian assistance that Pakistan has sent to, uh, for the people of Ukraine. Having said that, I would draw your attention to um, the position that Pakistan has enunciated. What are we saying? We are saying that we do believe in international law. We respect UN Charter. We do understand uh, uh, the principle of self-determination, sovereignty, territorial integrity, we have uh, openly said that uh, war is no solution. We are advocating dialogue and diplomacy. As the Foreign Minister pointed out, uh, uh, Austria being a neutral country uh, and has had uh, you know, economic linkages with Russia and has taken certain uh, positions. Uh, they will hurt economically. Obviously, they will hurt economically. Europe is going to hurt economically. We are going to hurt economically. And what the foreign minister said, and I agree with him, if, if, the, if there is no cessation of hostilities, uh, this, this war could spread. And I fear the spread. Uh, and I do agree, the implications of this war are beyond Europe. We here in Pakistan are already feeling the pinch of rising prices of petroleum products. You know, uh, many developing countries were, because of the COVID situation and will, because of this new situation, feel the pinch of rising commodity prices. So this war will hurt many in different ways. Pakistan is advocating dialogue and diplomacy. Pakistan wants to see uh, the uh, talks between Ukraine and Russia uh, conclude uh, to, 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 you know, to a, towards a positive, uh, there's a positive outcome. Uh, and uh, we're concerned about the loss of life. We have welcomed the uh, establishment of the humanitarian corridor. Uh, so we are not insensitive uh, to uh, international opinion. And we also want the international, uh, you know, uh, reporters like you to understand that we are recovering ourselves from a long war. We've been in the midst of war for 20 years. We have paid a price in human terms. We have paid a price in, 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 in economic terms. And we have also seen... Pakistan has been talking about a lot of problems. Pakistan has been working in Afghanistan for a lot of work. Pakistan and Austria has been working on a press conference.